Hey Skin Warriors! If you're struggling with cystic acne, you know how painful and frustrating it can be. So let's break it down and talk about what causes cystic acne and how to treat it so you can regain control of your skin. So what is cystic acne? Cystic acne is a severe form of acne where deep, painful, pus-filled cysts form beneath the skin. These pimples are often larger, redder, and can leave scars behind if left untreated. But what causes it? Cystic acne happens when pores become clogged with excess oil, dead skin cells, and bacteria. This causes inflammation deep in the skin, leading to those painful lumps. While teenagers are most prone to it due to hormonal changes, stress, diet, and genetics can also play a role. Now, how is cystic acne diagnosed? The first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to see a dermatologist. Now, your doctor will examine your skin to identify the presence of those large inflamed nodules or cysts. They may also ask you about your family history of acne, your menstrual cycle for women, and any medications that you may be taking. The provider may also ask you about your skincare routine, stress levels, and other factors like your diet that could contribute to acne. They will also differentiate between cystic acne and other forms of acne based on the depth, the size, the location, and the appearance of the pimples or postules. So now that we understand the basics, let's get into how to treat cystic acne effectively. Now, one of the first and easiest options is to use topical treatments. Let's talk about retinoids like adapalene or tretinoin. These are vitamin A derivatives that help to exfoliate the skin, prevent clogged pores, and reduce inflammation. But keep in mind that they can be drying, so make sure to use your moisturizer. The second form of treatment can be benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid. Now these two ingredients are key ingredients. Benzoyl peroxide kills the acne causing bacteria while salicylic acid helps to clear out dead skin cells and helps to keep your pores clear. The third one is oral medication. If your acne is more severe, oral antibiotics might be prescribed to reduce bacteria and inflammation. Birth control pills can also help to regulate your hormones, especially for women dealing with acne linked to their menstrual cycle. Fourth, we have isotretinoin or Accutane. Now this one is a powerful oral treatment and is often used as a last resort. It works by shrinking oil glands and significantly reducing breakouts, but it's not without its side effects, so it requires close monitoring by a doctor and obviously it's by prescription only. Fifth, we have corticosteroid injections. This is another last resort that is used for those large painful cysts. Your dermatologist will inject a steroid directly into the cyst to shrink it as quickly as possible. And finally, sixth, we have laser therapy and chemical peels. These treatments help to reduce acne scarring and clear up active breakouts. Laser therapy targets the bacteria under the skin while chemical peels help to exfoliate and prevent new cysts from forming. Dealing with cystic acne can be frustrating but here are a couple of tips that you can use to help you. One, avoid picking or popping your cysts as this increases the risk of infection and scarring and two, keep your skincare routine simple but consistent. Patience is key when treating cystic acne so don't expect overnight results. Treating cystic acne takes time and persistence but with the right approach you can see significant improvement. If your acne is severe or persistent, definitely consult a dermatologist who can guide you through the process. And remember that you're beautiful no matter what. Here at Sassily Skin, we do our best to help you understand and take care of your skin. Help us to keep helping you by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And remember that happiness is a habit, just like skincare.